Hey everybody, welcome back to more Tech Tips with Heather. Now today I'm going to be showing you some of the different calculator modes in the calculator that has been pre-installed on Linux when you get your Linux OS. So, so calculator is found in your menu bar, so you go to menu, you go to accessories, and then you there's right there, two down from the top, is calculator, so you click on that, I mean three down. <laughs> So you click on that and it brings you here. The first setting is basic mode. It's usually always set to that at the beginning. So um, so this is basically for doing simple mathematics, finding all percentages, squaring it, and finding the square roots and stuff, that kind of thing. Just what you'd basically find on a simple calculator. So that's the one mode for doing simple mathematics. To see the other modes is you click this little arrow here. So next mode is advanced mode, so you click on that, and it brings you here. It's for more doing like trigonometry kind of stuff and finding areas of spheres and that kind of stuff, and it's got like sins and cos and tan and stuff. So yeah, so this is more for like the advanced mathematics that you'd be doing for like trigonometry and period calculus kind of stuff. So that's what advanced mode is. The next one is financial mode, so you click on it. So this has a lot to do with like finances, as you can tell from the name. One neat thing about it that I noticed was you can look at the different currencies from each country. So if you go to, you can select your country and your dollar and stuff. So I'm Canadian, so Canadian dollar. And then you can switch it to like Australian dollar, the Zeek Karuna. We can go to New Zealand dollar. So $50 Canadian is going to be $56.95 dollars new in New Zealand. So so yeah, that was a neat feature. It's got some of the other stuff like uh, rates and stuff and terms and stuff for figuring out business mathematics and stuff if you're taking a course in that, that kind of thing. So next one is programming mode. <laughs> this one I haven't yet figured out because yikes. But anyways, so I guess this is for the programmers. So, so that's where you can get that. That's where you see that. And then there's keyboard mode so you can type it in so you can go like 50 times 10 or whatever no so you can do it through the keyboard so those are the different modes in calculator and where you, where you go to find them and stuff and so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and that this video helps you guys out and thanks for all the likes and subscribers and comments that we're forgetting we really enjoy hearing from you guys and i'll see you next time with more tech tips